Bandung is the capital city of West Java province with a population of approximately two and a half millions lies in a mountainous region at an altitude of 770 meters. Bandung occupies an important place in the educational sphere of Indonesia. The most renowned university in Bandung is Institut Technology Bandung or ITB. ITB was founded on March 2nd, 1959. It was firstly established as Technische Hogeschule during the Dutch administration on July 3rd, 1920. The name Institut Technology Bandung was coined by the first Indonesian president, Sokano. ITB has been considered as a top choice among Indonesian high school students and has been credited as one of the most prestigious universities in Indonesia. The School of Pharmacy was established on October 6, 1947 as Department of Pharmacy under the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences. Following reorganization at ITB, since 2006, Department of Pharmacy became School of Pharmacy, which has two undergraduate study programs, Pharmaceutical Sciences and Technology and Clinical and Community Pharmacy. School of Pharmacy also runs graduate, master and doctoral degrees and professional apothecary programs. There are five departments of research groups at School of Pharmacy ITB, namely Pharmacochemistry, Pharmaceutical Biology, Pharmaceutics, Pharmacology and Clinical Pharmacy and Sport Science. School of Pharmacy has long experience in excellent high school education and community services. Our students coming from worldwide to study in bachelor's, master's and PhD courses. I think when you study pharmacy is not even enough when, that you go get the knowledge about all the things. It's also important that you get a network connection worldwide and collaboration with all the students to get the feeling about what we need worldwide. I choose to study here because I saw the potential of Indonesia with rich natural resources and also a good opportunity to learn a new language which is Bahasa Indonesia. My supervisors and my classmates and they make like a family environment in the lab. I believe when I graduated from ITB, I can perform best community services based on my pharmaceutical knowledge. By studying here in ITB, I believe once I graduated, I will have the capability to penetrate into the global market. Studying here encourages me to write a journal paper and it supports me to reach academic excellence. To support the dynamic teaching, learning and research environment, the School of Pharmacy ITB has set up pertinent facilities, mostly teaching and service laboratories, which are equipped with ample equipment. In addition to lecture and seminar rooms, the school also has animal breeding and husbandry facility and laboratory scale of solid and sterile products manufacturing facilities. In contribution for human life, Especially in health fields, we are strengthening our research for publications, innovative and applicable patents, and developing commercial products in pharmaceuticals, herbal medicines, nutraceuticals, and their related halal products. School of Pharmacy ITB has been successfully implementing teaching and learning process. Students of School of Pharmacy ITB have been actively participating in curricular as well as extracurricular activities at both national and international levels. The same goes for the graduates who have demonstrated leading roles, especially in pharmaceutical fields. One key learning that I've got from here is that to be innovative and always have a breakthrough idea. This drives me to have a good contribution to the company and make sure that we can deliver a good product to the community. And now I have moved to contribute further as the founder and president of Indonesian Young Pharmacist Group and also as the board member of Asian Young Pharmacist Group. So we are very happy to welcome top and reputable universities, global pharmaceutical and other related companies to collaborate with us to train our students not only as uh, local players but also as future global leaders and entrepreneurs in manufacturing and quality controls, clinical services, research, education and health policy.